welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics in this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids so far we have solved three problems on development of lateral surfaces of solids by using parallel line method let us continue our discussion from the point where we have stopped in our previous lecture moving ahead the problem number 4 of our discussion states that a hexagonal prism of base height 20 mm and height 50 mm is resting on HP on its base such that one of its base edges is parallel to VP. The prism is cut by the position as shown in the figure 4. Draw the development of lateral surface of the prism. For problem number 4, he himself has been presented the front view and top view of the hexagonal prism which has been cut by the two cutting planes as shown in the front view of figure 4. So this is figure 4. For this we should do the development of lateral surface of this hexagonal prism. Now since this is a prism as I already explained in our first lecture of this module 4 on development of lateral surfaces of solids, prism, cylinders and cube can be solved by using parallel line method of development. So first if I cut from one of the longer edge of this hexagonal prism and unfold all the lateral surfaces I am going to get 6 rectangular faces of dimension base height is 20 mm and vertical height is 50 mm. So therefore if I unfold from one of the longer edges cut this prism from one of the longer edges and unfold all the lateral surfaces of this hexagonal prism I am going to get 6 rectangular faces of dimension 20 mm cross 50 mm. So before laying down the cutting plane into the unfolded hexagonal prism, first let us lay down the unfold lateral surfaces of this hexagonal prism. So if I do that, let me take a parallel line from this prism. Since we are doing development of prism, it can be solved by using parallel line method of development which we have already discussed. The development portion is neither the front view nor the top view of the given problem. It is just development so therefore for longer edges let me use the notations as capital A, capital B, capital C like that T, capital F. Now unfolding which the horizontal distance will be 20 into 6 faces. So it will be 120 millimeters let me mark 120 millimeters first that is we have 20 20 20 6 faces 4 5 and 6 height is known height is 50 millimeters let me draw 50 millimeters height drawn so I drawn 20 cross 50 millimeters 6 lateral faces of this hexagonal prism now connect the apex, apex shorter edges connecting the apex shorter edges I will get a sketch of overall like rectangle of dimension 120 mm cross 50 mm so each of which is measuring 20 cross 50 20 mm so 20 into 6 is 120 if it would have been a pentagon then unfolding this prism will give us 5 lateral faces so therefore the overall length will become 20 into 5 that is 100 millimeters. Since it is a hexagon, we are getting 6 lateral faces. Now mark these longer edges as A1, A, B1, B, C1, C, D1, D, 
even e f1 f and finally when i fold it the first longer edge and last longer edge will overlap therefore finally i should get the first longer edge that is a1 e once you have unfolded the prism now transfer the cutting points onto this unfolded prism by using parallel lines so one dash is on longer edge a1 dash a dash so therefore transfer it to the longer edge a1 a in the development so just by drawing a parallel line you can transfer it like this the first and the last longer edges are same that is a1 a so project it on to the last longer edge also so this will give us point 1 next we have for longer edge b1 dash b dash we have point 2 that is for b1 b i should transfer this as point 2 by using parallel line as we have already discussed so far if the cutting plane cuts the shorter edge that is on the horizontal planes then only we should measure from the top view. so if you carefully observe the cutting plane is cutting only longer edges in the vertical plane so therefore no need to worry so no dimensions are necessary from the top view. just by drawing the parallel lines we can complete this development a transfer point 2 on to b next we have c1 dash c dash point 3 dash just draw parallel line to longer edge c1 c that will give us point number 3 so this will be point 3 next four is cutting exactly at the corner of d dash so therefore i'll get if i draw parallel line i'll get it here so therefore i'll call this as 4 dash 4 next after d we have e e1 dash e dash is cut on here that is 5 dash so drawing a parallel line for the longer edge e1 e i'll get 0.5 next we have 6 on f1 dash f dash so extend this parallel line from 2 to f1 f you get 0.6 so this completes the transferring of cutting points 1 dash to 6 dash to the development what we have for the first cutting plane we have one more cutting plane which has points from 7 dash to 12 dash so similarly how we have done for first cutting plane repeat the same procedure for the second cutting plane so transferring which 7 dash is coming exactly at the corner of a1 dash which means i am going to get 7 dash here let me call this as 7 at the beginning also at the ending it will be 7 next for b1 dash b dash we have 8 draw the parallel line So drawing the parallel line for B1 B, I'll get point eight on B1 B. Next for C, we have point nine. Draw the parallel line from C1 dash C dash to C1 C. If I do that, I'll get point nine here. I'll get point nine. Next. Point ten is already done for D one dash B dash, so this is going to be ten. Next level is on E one dash E dash, so which is parallel to point nine, so extend point nine till E, so you get eleven. Next we have twelve on E one dash E dash, so extend eight till E one E. Extending eight to the upper near, you get point number twelve. This completes transferring of all the salient points of this cutting plane into the unfolded hexagonal prism. Now connect these points that will complete the development. Let me use different chalk to bifurcate between the unfolded hexagonal prism and the development what we have. 
So connecting the points 1 to 2, 2 to 3, then 3 to 4, 4 to 5, then 5 to 6, 6 to 1. So this is for first cutting plane. Now going for second cutting plane we have 7 to 7 that is connect 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12 and then from 12 to 7. So this completes the projection of second cutting plane. Now connect these two to complete the problem. So connecting these two, I am going to get a development like this. So the portion which we have drawn in the blue chalk will be retained and this one, the white chalks will be removed off. So this is the development of development of given hexagonal prism cut down as shown in the front view. So this is how we should solve for the problem number 4. So this is the solution for problem number 4. That's all from this lecture. Thank you all.